a guy screws a jack of fear. In the past, I tried to figure out in the field the best setup for a dipole and an end fed antenna. And now, this is the first match between the two dipole versus end fed. Who is better? And how much? Let's try to create some numbers. Both antennas were stretched over the same mast, but at a 90 degree angle to each other. This was so that they would not interfere a lot with each other. So they have both more or less the same height in the center and are on the same position in the field. At home I 3D printed a mounting system. The end fed goes some centimeter over the dipole, but like I said, 90 deg degree to it. The target was my station at home 38 km away, no direct line of sight. So this is more or less uh, envious propagation. The direction of the home station was approximately between the two antenna wires. That means approximately 45 degree to the dipole antenna and 45 degree to the end fed antenna. I used the same antenna wire for both antennas. For the dipole, the best measurements I got from my earlier tests with a one-to-one -one transformer, a voltage balloon, at the antenna feed point, and a choke on the transceiver side. What I have not tested in the past was different types of voltage bal balloons. That might be another thing I could test in the future. For the end fed, I chose a 1 to 49 transformer with a ferrite core from ferrite number 264-325-1002, wound with two primary and 14 secondary windings. They say this is the best transformer you can build with the lowest losses up to 100 watts. During the test, I switched the antenna after each transmission in GS8 core in order to reduce the effects of the constantly changing propagation. So I sent a SNR request to my home station. The home station then replied to me automatically and I got the signal to noise ratio for the reception in the field with my Lab 599TX500. And I also get back in the text reply the signal to noise ratio for the reception from the home station, which is more or less the result of the transmission. I write down both numbers, reception SNR and transmission SNR. In this test, I transmitted 22 times with the dipole and 22 times with the end fed. The SNR values are then averaged and we get the final result. An averaged SNR for reception in the field and an averaged SNR for the reception of my home station, what I refer to as transmission. I did lots of tests with this method in the past. It looks quite accurate to me. Here are the results for the first comparison, dipole versus end fed. The blue columns are the SNR values measured in the field. The red ones are the SNR values measured at the home station, a result of the transmission from the field. The average SNR of all receptions for the dipole was 10.41 dB. The average SNR of all receptions for the end fed was 10.91 dB. The average SNR of the signal arriving in Vienna, which was transmitted with the dipole, was 6.59 dB. The average SNR of the signal arriving in Vienna, which was transmitted with the end fed, was 5.68 dB. The end fed was 0.5 dB SNR better in receive than the dipole. The dipole was 0.91 dB SNR better in transmit than the end fed. Overall, I would say the dipole won, but only by a fraction of a dB. So close that it would fall, I guess, 
into the margin of error of this method. It would be good if I repeat this test two or three times to get it even more accurate. For me it was quite surprising that the end fed was that good. I thought the difference to the dipole would be bigger. In normal operation no one would hear any difference. I need to reevaluate what advantage there still is for the dipole in the field. A good SWR is always a bit easier to reach with the dipole, but it seems that doesn't matter a lot. Uh, just the SWR on the device for the dipole 1.0 for the end fed 1.1. But if I can measure it with the rig expert, it's a little bit higher. With the rig expert on the end fed 1.58 and on the on the type pull 1.25. Again back to the end fed 1.58 1.25. It's the best what I could do. This is uh, the end across here. This is the uh, end fed, this is the dipole. And the direction where my target station is, is exactly in the middle. So that was it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.